guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So it's been requested more than once that I do a flip cup on a vase. So that's what we're going to do today. And I will explain the paints as I go. So this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics White. Artist Loft Flow Acrylics Blue. And to prep the vase, all I did was clean it with alcohol. Nothing else. And then I have it sitting up here on a cup so that I can move the vase off. And then I have it sitting up here on a canvas to catch the runoff. All right, this one is Artist, nope, this is Metallic, yeah, Artist Loft Metallic Purple. This is Art Minds Amethyst. So it's a metallic purple as well. I'm going with a little bit more white. And then this one is Arteza Gold. That should be pretty exciting. I'm going to throw a dash of green in here, which is just made from Artist Loft colors. So, or Artist Loft Flow Acrylic colors, rather. And then some Artist Loft Flow Acrylics turquoise as well. So definitely should get a, a peacocky vibe here. So let's do a little bit more of the blue is almost out. Come on. All right. Yeah, that one. Need to re replenish. Okay. Some more purple. And the 10 by 10 canvas only needs a little bit more than six ounces of paint. So I've, I'm often asked, how do you determine how much paint to cover the vase? I just put enough to cover the canvas. This is an eight ounce bowl, so that will be plenty to cover the canvas and the vase. Okay, I didn't fill it all the way to the top. I'm actually going to throw a dash of black in there, I think. I like to have some contrast, so, but it's just at the end. All right, there we go. Now this is going to be interesting. I am going to actually take it off the cup and I'm going to try to create some suction. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out. Because the end is, oh, oh, might in fact work. Okay. It's going to start coming out the side the second I flip it over. All right, that worked better than I thought. And here we go. One, two, that, it's got suction, three, <laughs> ooh, great colors. Now in case anyone hasn't seen my other vase videos, generally I just pour it on the top, I do like a tree ring, so that's why this is definitely different, and we'll see the different patterns that it gives us. Um, and I will put a link down in the description. I actually have a whole playlist for acrylic pouring on bases. And check down in the description for all the materials as well, like the silicone mat under here, silicone bowls, the paints. I try to put as much in there as possible. So we're going to let this go ahead and run. I will speed this part up and then we'll, we'll come back and do the canvas. All right, so I had let it drain for about three minutes or so. I just let it go until it slows down and stops dripping as much. Now I'm gonna pick it up by the cup and carefully move it aside. I'll turn it a little so you can see a different angle on the vase. And if you touch the bottom of your vase, don't even worry about it too much because it's going to continue dripping. So anything you touch will get covered up. And now we're gonna do the canvas, which I'm really excited about. I think the colors on this are really cool. Surprisingly, I didn't feel like I put much green in there, but that green really came out. And one of the things I love about doing the vases is just how the canvas comes out, the really cool designs you can get on the canvas that you can't get with like any other technique really, just due to the way the paint moves around and drips. So 
So there you go. There's our canvas, our vase. So we'll let these sit here for a couple hours or so. And then the vase will be done moving and then we'll do a close up on both of them. All right, guys, we're back. It's been a couple hours. So let's start with a close up on the canvas. I am just in love with these colors. It's very light, almost unicorn -y actually. <laughs> And you can see that really cool pattern that's created. So that one's pretty darn awesome. All right, and here is our vase. I find it easiest to just carefully turn it so that you can see all sides. So I think that I prefer the tree ring method on these. I like the lines that that creates. This one's um, just the colors are more blended, it feels like, and yeah, but it's still pretty and I'm very, very, very happy with the colors. I really like this whole section with the purple and the gold. So I might try this again one more time, uh, maybe a little bit less white and trying to do maybe smaller layers of color to see if I can get more because as you notice there's no blue on this it's pretty much just that purple and green with a little bit of the gold so we lost a lot of the colors but yeah there you go all right guys i hope you enjoyed this once again please check down in the description for all of the materials it should answer most questions that you have including the ratios that i mix my paints at and everything and i will see you all next time